this is a one minute chart for uh, meta so it's uh it's, it's paired some of those gains this is that same uh, for eight points 480.86 was it the same thing as we have there uh, with 480.96 so yeah pretty much the same thing we have so he has paired uh, some of those gains now and partners has now pulled back so uh upper projections on this one minute chart uh, go all the way towards uh, 476.35 uh, let's move down to the five minute chart and see what we have five minute chart for meta uh, let's see um, upper projections on this five minute chart is uh most, most upper projections are 487.53 is that uh, what we have as uh, some time okay yeah so this is actually this upper projection right in high okay so uh, let's uh um, but what interestingly enough the extrapolation is saying that um it's uh, it shouldn't be this uh it's, it's saying it's uh, over overvalued you know it's uh, cautioning that um you know just really be careful really be careful with uh, meta okay let's uh, look at a 15 minute chart and let's see we had 4, 487 on the 5 minute chart let's see what we're going to get here um on this uh, 15 minute chart we have uh, the most upper projection is uh 490.65 the one below that is uh, 486.26 this is actually even higher than uh, what it was on the what it printed on its uh, one minute chart let's um look at the three hour chart let's see on the three hour chart i think uh, i'm suspecting uh yeah, there are no recalculations for the for its Fibonacci, no no recalculations. So we really can't rely very much on them because um they are they 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 they're just not re you know recalculating, you know, you know, relieving or rather uh, considering what's going on right now. So and indeed as well, you know, it's a daily one day chart. It's not uh, there are no recal there are no the 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 algos the the projections I I, I want to believe this this these are the projections that it had before before this rally this huge spike you know okay. the, the the upper projection there was uh four hundred eighteen point eight nine and uh, it has since uh, blown past it but you never know we might find uh, something higher on the on this one week chart let's have a look on the one week chart uh, any hope yes we have we have we have uh upper projection of uh, four hundred and five hundred and uh, 511.02 and it's not um I, well it should also recalculate as well but it hasn't done so so you know it's still not very much reliable as such but even at that i really really can so, cannot say for sure that um, it hasn't actually this uh fibonacci projections have not uh, been recalculated so 511.01 uh what are the odds of that happening it's it's much more like on this one week on this weekly chart it, it look you can see you can visually looking at it now the probability of that uh getting there is uh looks uh realistically looks um, um uh, a lot more um, um immediate as against that um, it's uh, putting back all the way down to 325.69 you know that would be really calamitous you know and uh, do we need to go any further let's look at the one month uh, chart and see what we have on one month chart let's see well, yes we have projections as well 511.01 511.01 and probability as well even uh, still looks uh that it will get there very much um you know looks uh visually um uh realistic yes visually realistic you know so projections for meta all the way towards that uh, 511 but um, I will stick with uh, 487 on thereabouts because uh, these uh, longer interval charts haven't, um, they haven't, um, I mean, been longer interval charts, you can imagine. Uh, yeah, maybe that's why uh, recalculations are taking time to uh, um, to uh, be be implemented on, on, on uh, I mean, based on what the, the, the indicators we have uh, uh, on, 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 on uh, here on a trading view so uh yeah once again upper projections for meta all the way towards um on this one minute chart i think um okay this i think uh we have something higher i think it's on a five minute chart we had something higher than that yeah something uh higher something let's see we have a uh, 487 487.24 and indeed well uh 
but we can still say 511 you know so okay let's quickly jump to Amazon see what's going on there Amazon we come to down to the close of the session okay Amazon is also printed um if it's two week high I want to believe as well 485.96 is this the same is this is that, is that a chart or is it um, uh, Meta's chart? It looks like Meta's chart. Uh, Amazon, let me see. AM, ZN. It is, it is Amazon. Okay, I will validate that. So, um, up 7.73%. 7 At some point, uh, the gain was around uh, 12%. So, it has also given up around uh, 5%. Okay, let's look at the let's look at the chart for Amazon AM ZN. Amazon we have uh, oh yes this is uh, that was the wrong chart this is uh, this this is the wrong chart it's not uh, this is not exactly has that uh, well this is it is definitely the wrong chart yeah that's the correct one now so yeah correct correct one yeah yeah so. Yes, gave up some of its gains and uh, has been the stock. Uh, yeah, in as you can, as you, uh, as you, you know, as I just pointed out, has pulled back from the highs of uh, this session, highs of uh, around uh, 172.35, and uh, projections on this one minute chart they go from uh, 171.47. We have uh, an all the way towards. Uh, 172.37 on this one minute chart let's have a look at the five minute chart and see the five minute chart for amazon projections even go all the way towards uh 179.71 before that we have uh 176.48 and then um the clues as it has to where it is right now is uh is uh, 172.58 on this five minute chart so extrapolation as well is uh, is uh, indicating that um it shouldn't be that uh, it shouldn't be trading the at this sort of level it is trading at right now it should be i mean based on what has happened before it is uh, indicating that it should be it's yes indeed something happened which is yes which uh, at some point was a 12 percent gain uh, and indeed, for a, a mega mega cap stock like Amazon, that's that's huge, huge, really enormously huge. Okay, do we? Okay, let's uh, look at the three-hour chart and see what we have. The three-hour chart for Amazon, we have uh, upper projection of one hundred seventy-two point eight seven, one hundred and seventy-four point four six, one hundred and seventy-nine point two two. Okay, let's uh, look at the one-day chart. I, I want to believe as well that um, the Argos haven't calculated anything. Yeah, it's um, yeah, this the stock has um, it's a uh, bloom past its uh, stop of projection, you know. So, uh, in any case, I I really can't say for sure. This is a disclaimer. I can't say for sure that the Argo, the the the, the uh, Fibonacci projections have not uh, recalculated, but um, it looks like um, yes, it looks like it. You know, but you know. Uh, in any case, there's a, it, uh, there are no upper projections. All we have is a downward projection of 164.38. But if we go to the weekly chart, we might find uh, something, something upward. Yeah, there are upper projections here, two of them. It's uh, very much closer to watch to one of them, which is uh, 176.38. And the probability of it uh, getting there is uh, yeah, quite... Uh, um, sounds uh it's quite realistic you know it's quite um uh, it's it doesn't look far-fetched you know this is because of the fact that um if you want to determine this probability you're going to be looking at uh, moving averages that are uh you can you, you, you how would i put it i think the price itself will be uh you'll be talking about uh, moving averages that are not too far off i want to believe would that be the case? But uh, the, the factors that are there, because of it's much closer to this uh, this projection, then um, um, realistically speaking, then uh, you know it's much more. I mean, it's I don't need to explain this. You know, that it makes more sense to you. You know, it, it's 
yeah, it's it's much closer there. So you know, it's just as as simple as anything you can think of. You know, if it's if your hand is um, if you're not that far off from um, something, the probability of it of you getting there sooner or later, or yeah, sooner or getting there at some point, you know, sooner or later, you know, whatever the case is, it's you know, much more uh, realistic. You know, so. Okay, so I uh, that's uh, 176.38, and then um, the one above that is uh, 212.038. So the probability of it getting to these highs is also very, I, I would say, uh, remote at the moment. Very remote, quite remote at the moment. You know? So yeah, let's uh, look at the one month chart. We might find something uh, interesting there. One month chart for Amazon. Oh yes, even way more, way higher upper projections. We have uh, this. We have one seventy eight point two eight. We have two hundred four point seven five, and all the way towards a two hundred and two hundred eighty one point six two on the monthly chart. But you know, never, never, never really seen ever. You know. Okay, let's. Uh, what will be the next one? The next one will be INBS. Let's see. INBS, let's see. INBS, that is Intelligent Bio Solutions Inc. This hasn't changed yet. Okay, we're going to leave it and uh, carry on with the trading view. Uh, yeah. IMBS, we might find some news here on uh, Charles Schwab concerning IMBS. Let's see what's going on with the broader market. The broader market has uh, paired some of its uh, gains as we come down to the close. This is the S&P 500. We'll take up a small, tiny bet that uh, we might uh, get a rebound while we are looking at IMBS. IMBS gained uh, 143.57 percent at some point it was actually higher than that. Let's look at, uh, let's move down and see what we have for IMBS, most active stocks. Okay, this is it's a one minute chart right now. It has uh, it reached the highs of around uh, six point seven four dollars in this uh, regular session of today, the second of February twenty twenty four. Let's look at uh, IMBS. This is uh, okay. It says um, preliminary data shows uh, sales of, of about uh, 1.56 million dollars uh, during the six months ended that is a month at one, an increase of 337 percent from a year ago. Okay, announces uh, preliminary on, on a detailed fiscal second quarter and six month revenue results. Yeah, that's uh, what is behind this rally, I want to believe. Okay, so extrapolation is saying that, that it's going to continue, it should continue to retrace. Projections go all the way towards uh, it's eight hundred sixteen dollars, it's eight hundred it's eight point one six dollars on this one minute chart. We have a seven point, uh, it's still still showing strength, seven point one six, seven seven point seven point one nine. Uh, it never reached those sort of levels uh, in this on uh, based on what we have what. Based on what has what uh, has been printed on uh, this uh, one minute chart, so next projection is a uh, six point eight six, and then at uh, six point eight six, uh, it actually didn't get to those levels, but it, it did indeed uh, surpass uh, six point six at some point, and then uh, below that we have uh, six point four one, below that we have uh, we have uh, six point two three. And then we have uh, just slightly above where it is now. We have, um, I think, uh, 6.07, 6.07. 
So I and Bio and uh, yeah announced a better than expected and its outcomes. I'm gonna believe. Okay, so let's uh, quickly jump to Apple and see what's going on with I Apple. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, Apple. This is what we have. Extrapolation is uh, saying it's uh, overbought, over overvalued at the moment. So, on this one minute chart, it's uh, it's approaching its uh, this projection. It's, it's approaching projection over 186.62. Outside that, uh, it has uh, next projection of uh, 187.06. What are the odds of it getting there? So it's actually um, down 0.11%. So let's look at the five minute chart for Amazon, uh, so for Apple. And the five minute chart uh, extrapolation is saying, it's saying that um, right now it shouldn't uh, be where it is, but it will, it will, uh, it should actually improve. So extrapolation is uh, bullish. It has, uh, it's trending upwards. You can see it's, uh, it's uh lows are getting higher i want to believe on the average this is because the trend the trend is an upward one but those are just extrapolations you know and uh we have uh projections of uh, 180 188.62 above that we have uh 187.09 yeah yeah let's uh, look at the 45 minute chart for apple On the 45 minute chart, we have uh, extrapolation. It's what is saying that uh, weakness is uh, it shouldn't be where it is right now, it should be, it should be trading at a uh, lower price. And uh, we have uh, one projection of 187.47, and then we have uh, 195.13. Okay, let's look at the uh, daily chart and see what we have for Apple. On the daily chart, we have let's see, uh, not a lot has been going on. Maybe that's why this uh, algo has this uh, project, this Fibonacci projection uh, seems to be uh, intact. Not uh, hasn't doesn't look like something that has really refreshed as such. But it may have been. It may have. You know. So I, I'm not sure, exactly sure of what I'm saying. So, but um, we have 199.08. Uh, dollars we have uh, 100 and uh, 191.67 we have uh, 196.48 uh, all the way towards uh, 208.5 dollars but for down projections we have uh, 184.46 we have 118.13 uh, and then we have here we have uh, 100 and uh, 76.88 for Apple. So let's uh, look at uh, Tesla. Tesla is uh, on this on this day on this on this daily chart is uh, down 0.44 percent. Has continued to decline and depreciate. But um, it, uh, it's so bad that this, uh, this uh, extrapolation is saying that it should do better than what it is doing now. It should be trading at around uh, 202.38. So, yeah, usually I, I, I think we can conclude that um, when extrapolations are indicating strength, then uh, maybe um, the, the underlying stock itself may, may not be uh, performing well. So on this daily chart, uh, we have uh, a downward projection of uh, 180, 170, 
170, 180.46. I mean, you make based on how things have been going, you might want to bet uh, that uh, you might get there. At, at, at some point, actually, it reached uh, declined all the way down to 180, 183.59. And then outside that, we have uh, one, 200, 200 and uh, 7.39 we have uh, 215.53 we have uh, 224.30 and the projections on this daily chart for um, uh, for Tesla goes all the way to 295 yeah I don't I, I don't um, you, might, you might be wondering what would be the essence of uh, pointing to these uh, extreme upper projections when uh, the trend at the moment is uh, for a decline for Tesla, but um, it may not continue to decline. At some point, it may turn around. So let's uh, look at AMD. AMD is uh, it also gained uh, handsomely, I want to believe, today. It uh, gained 4.15%. Uh, let's look at the one-minute chart and see. For AMD. AMD, okay. We have... Uh, Again, 4.24 percent. Okay, retracing for the highs of the session. Most upper projection is at 178.95. Then uh, the closest upper projection to where it is is at 177.888. And then there's a downward projection for the downward projection of 177.23. Let's see what's cooking here. Okay, we are in a tiny, we have a tiny gain there. So let's uh, look at the five minute chart for AMD. What do we have? AMD, we have uh, extrapolation showing weakness, showing indicating that it should be trading at a lower price. But uh, we have upper projection of uh, 179.02. And all the way towards uh, 181.91. Yeah, but there are also downward projections. We have uh, 177.24, 176.66. Yeah, on the five minute chart for AMD, let's look at uh, its uh, 45 minute chart. We have uh, Extrapolation is uh, showing that um, it should be weaker than, based on what has happened before now, it should be trading at a lower price. But uh, we have uh, this extrapolation of uh, 100, so this upper projection of 183.95 doesn't, uh, well, at some point it might it might get there, you know, but um, at the moment it does, it's, uh, uh, it's not there yet. So we have... Uh, downward projection of 171.5 so let's uh, quickly jump down to its uh, one day chart let's see On its one day chart, Amazon has, uh, so AMD has uh, uh, been rallying within a longer term bullish trend. I want to believe, yes, longer term bullish trend. So it reached, uh, it got rejected at uh, 181.96 dollars. This was uh, on Thursday, the 25th of January, not long, not very long ago, about last week or thereabouts. So Yes, now uh, and pulled back all the way down towards uh, 107.83 and is rebounding now. This uh, looks uh, very much likely. This, uh, if it, if it, uh, some might say that if it uh, breaches this 180.96 uh, resistance, then it's likely that um, it might print uh, 184. Point, uh, it might print 184.05, 7 and even probably towards uh, 195.334 AMD. So let's quickly conclude with uh, Google. Google disappointed with its uh, earnings. 
and before that time it was uh it was rides riding high really high as of uh, monday the 29th it was uh way above all of its uh Fibonacci projections it has since uh, pulled back but uh, it has presented a, a good buying opportunity I want to believe and as we come down to the close of this session it's uh, got a pivot at uh, around uh, 140.13 and uh, indeed it might uh, you know never never count uh, Google out it's just a poor ending to outcomes markets uh, are definitely uh, buying this opportunity so it's it's for a lot of market participants that is re re really good news really good news you know it, stock just has a you know taking a breather and, and last time we had anything significant like that was uh sometime in uh january okay oh yeah this year uh, earlier on in this year it actually pulled back and then pulled back all the way towards uh 135.33 and has uh, and continued to blast up towards uh, 153 and uh, pull back again so well expect the stock to you know rebound again even challenge and break through this uh, Fibonacci projection of uh, 149.94 so Google on the move uh, correcting uh, corrected and uh, pivoting or has pivoted and very much likely to retest the highs of uh, the highs of uh, 153.74 so see what you make of uh, these stocks meta let's uh recap and see what's going on with them meta um as we come down to the close of uh, today's session let's see meta meta uh, up 20.27 percent let's look at amazon was Amazon was down it was up rather up 7.88 percent it's reached the gate gained around 12 percent at some point but I'm um, giving up some of those IMBS IMBS is uh okay this is uh yes yeah, up for 143.15 percent let's look at uh Apple Apple uh, still down 0 0.44 percent okay let's see tesla tesla um yeah down 0 0.52 percent amd let's see md up 4.24 percent and uh, let's see google google uh, up 0.86 percent so see what you make of uh, these stocks and uh, thank you very much for watching this video